Hey, very fresh. It's the 25th of December, 2018. Christmas Day. And a lot of folks have a little time on their hands on this day. I happen to be one of them. And so I thought I'd come on and, I don't know, just give you something to look at, to yell at, make fun of. I don't know. But it's all in love. I promise you. And as I sat here and began to poke around the world just a tiny bit, I was set on a little quest, a little trail, if you will, that to me is just absolutely astounding and amazing and beautiful and wonderful. And I hope I'm able to share it with you so that you can share in that joy that I got in this message. I was going to go and talk about the uh, tsunami some more because there is so much there and this does connect back to that. Um, but this may be actually the tsunami that we're looking for is a major financial collapse. We got to keep that in mind that that is a gigantic tool, you know, in, in the powers that be controlling financial, uh, you know, mechanisms is power. And you pull the plug on, on the money, things change fast. Things don't move. You know, people can't buy things. It's just not good. So bear that in mind. That might be the tsunami. But what I've been shown this morning was a little different. And you're going to need to use your discernment and pray on this. Uh, the Dow dropped 653 points. And the first thing that came in my mind was 365 a year, 365 days. Enoch also came into my mind. But the 653 is an interesting number. And of course, I was going through this article and it doesn't look good for old Wall Street. It simply does not look good. And we'll go back to that in a second. But the 653 led me to look that up. And I love my Strong's because this is the Word of God, okay? So I look up H653 because that, that's what this is, actually. I'll show you. There we go. There we go. This is a, quite a word, and it shows up ten times throughout the Old Testament. And the definition of that word is duskiness, figuratively misfortune, concretely concealment, dark, darkness, gloominess, thick gloominess. Okay, and it shows up ten times, and each and every time it shows up, it's not good. Okay, but the one that stood out to me the most was Joel 2.2. 2. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. He's talking about the day of the Lord. Okay, Joel 2.2, 2. and as I'm looking at this article, um, it's kind of weird. There's some synchronicities here <laughs> that it was put out at 6.22. Uh, let's see, the, the Dow falling fell below 22,000. Oh, and there's a bunch of them. The NASDAQ fell 2.2%. The Treasury note, 297, 7 and 4, 11. You know, the usual stuff, but the 22, you know, in correlation with the Joel 22, gloominess, darkness. That's, it's, that's a serious situation right there. Okay. Where we see that in scripture. Now, if we do go and look at, and this, this is really cool right here. If we do go and look at it in the Greek, okay. Just check this out. And this goes back to the tsunami too. Let's see. I'm just taking my time today, you guys. I'm, I'm really at that point where presentation is kind of like going out the window, you know what I mean? Check this out. This word appears one time in the entirety of the Bible, in Luke 11, 53. <laughs> and, and I'm not going to go into this scripture yet. Just just keep this in mind that speak, okay, it, it literally means, I'll show you the definition here. Postomatizo. Okay. It's from G575, which is important to speak offhand 
to properly dictate, okay, that is to catechize an invidious manner, provoke to speak, okay, now we, you have to look at this because this one is important because it really does mean something to me, okay, apo, you can go through all this, off, that is away, but it usually denotes separation, departure, cessation, completion, and reversal. Okay, so you have, in the Hebrew, you have gloominess, darkness, not good. And in the Greek, in the New Testament, you have departure, uh, all the good stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, it goes further than that because it wasn't just 653. It was 653. Here we go. Yeah, see? So it was 653.17. And that brings us back to the tsunami where this band called 17 was essentially wiped out. I mean, these, these guys, this thing was pretty devastating. I mean, no warning it ever whatsoever. Remember how Indonesia's tsunami warning system failed? I think it might be just like our financial system has failed to warn the general population of what's coming. That's because they have a plan. That's why. But anyway, these guys, 17, were playing when the tsunami hit. And the 17, if you're not familiar with the 17, the 17 also... Uh, is the 153. This is how it was shown to me and how I came to understand how it relates to the Bible and the victory. If, if you just simply take numbers, okay, you can situate it just like this. Picture this as a full net right here. That's the full net. And you just take 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, so on and so on. Do it 17 times and you will have 153 the full net which is John 21 11 which is just crazy because it goes back to Arlington Cemetery uh, there's other things that are hooked to this it's so deep and so complex I just have to freestyle this stuff in order to even share it with you at all because it's just too much but the 17 and that continues to play in because let's not forget uh, back on 11 11 we had the 70-17s, that wave that went around the world 70 times every 17 seconds for 20 minutes. So you can't tell me that that isn't something crazy, right? And that was 44 days from today, exactly. Okay, so what that led me to do, this is just the nutbag stuff that comes to me, you guys, but I'll tell you what, it's real. That actually led me to just like look up 44 and and i've looked at 44 multiple multiple times but never in like the wiki you know what i mean and check it out in astronomy it's known as the messier object m44 a magnitude open constellation cluster whatever in cancer known as the beehive cluster and earlier today popping over on youtube i noticed that this movie came out today called the bumblebee and that that came out today today okay so this thing's called the um the beehive cluster and this bumblebee comes out today right so i go and i look at this uh m44 thing there's so much stuff i'm telling you guys you're gonna freak out when you see this though it's pretty amazing to me and the m44 look what it's called the beehive cluster is also known as Presepi, Latin for manger, on Christmas Day, right? Manger? Seriously? That's just, that's out of control, you guys. It really is. So, I'm going to leave it at that for now, because that's wacky enough as it is. But I wanted to just really just say Merry Christmas to those of you who will accept it. Uh, in In my heart, what I'm saying to you is, Praise Jesus the Christ for saving us from this wicked, dark place that's going to come to an end soon, people. Grace is leaving. The light is leaving. Just imagine that world without God.
I can't even go there. But, you know, take this day to get close to Jesus. That's all he wants us to do anyway. Seek his counsel. Our petitions to God are, are available to us because of him. So call on him. And you can literally have a relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Spirit and be one in the body of Christ. And it's just amazing. So I hope, I hope you are one of my brothers and sisters. And if you're not, I hope you soon will be. Okay, so. And there's a ton more to this, you guys. The 153, uh, I'll get back to this. But for now, peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 